Hi and welcome back. Today is part one, well kind of part one and two of the complete walkthrough of the Amos Basic User Guide. I will share the main information from every site from the user guide. So this video series can be a little long, so I'll make a playlist where I place all these videos and I'll add one every three or four weeks. Other uploads with the fun stuff like making little games and so will come regularly. Introduction. Amos Basic is well known in the Amiga community and need little introduction. It was made by Francois Leonard, who also was the creator of Stus for the Atari. He's still around and have lived in many places around Europe, such like France, the UK, Poland and so forth. He's still hard at work, started to make a project called Amos 2, which now is called AOC Studio, but more about that in another video. You can imagine it to be like Amos Basic, but for modern hardware, and it runs on Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. So getting started. The manual first tells us about the editor. Here you can run your programs, you can test them, you can type them, and you can load a program. Today, I cheated a little, and this is the first part from the book. First, it tells us about how to load sprites into memory and how to load music into memory. You type the load command and find the directory and the file, and then you just type run. Then you hit escape for direct mode, type list bank, and you can here see the sprites and the music have been loaded into memory. If you wonder how many sprites are in position one, you can type print length, And I always do that. It's th. That's 64 sprites. So, in order to work with the sprites, let's turn cursor off, flash off, and seal, clear the screen. Now, when you load sprites and you have opened the screen, the palettes can be altered. So to get the right color palette for your sprites, you just type get sprite palette, and then you have the right colors for your sprite. To place the sprite on the screen, you just type sprite, the number you want, the X position, the Y position, and the number sprite you want. And when we run, you see the sprite and the colors are now the real ones. Amos Basic has its own animation language called AMO. So if we type AMO, it's sprite 8, anim for animation, 0, and this is the sprite. This is how long it shall be displayed. Next sprite, and here we have an end, so it loops. AMO on. And we run. And you can see the dog now is animated. Let's show you remove this line again. And here you can also use AML for movement. So if we say $8 equals $8 plus loop move 320 on the x axis, 0 on the y, and the speed. And here minus to make it go back, and then jump loop, it will go forth and back. Then we have to call AML $8,8 and turn AML on. Now we have the duck going from right to left. One of the good things about using AML instead of if commands to make things move is that the movement won't affect the program so much and won't slow it down. Just make a short do loop so the program won't end. To turn the music on, we load it. You just type music one. It's the music we have. And then you run the program. And you have to type music off to make the music stop again. So if you're making a program with music, Make sure you have some line of code that always turns the music off, or else you're going to listen to it all the time. You can see here. Stop the program. So you 
have to turn it off manually. So this was a short introduction to chapter one and two. There's not much about these two chapters. Next time it's about the editor and I'll hope you'll watch. I'll try to get better to explain and to talk so that it's more fluent, but I also have to learn. Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe. It means a lot. See you next time.